Welcome to Hot in Math. In this edition, we're going to talk about uh, surface area and volume, and we're going to review some problems that we've learned throughout the chapter. So the first question, number 19, asks us to find the total surface area of this slice of a circle. So TSA stands for total surface area. I know that this length here, which is really the radius of my cylinder, is 6, and then the height here is 10. So how do we figure that out? Well, we've got a bunch of different parts uh, for the surface area. We have this side here. We have the side opposite, which is the same rectangular piece. We have this rounded um, outside of the cylinder, which we need to calculate. And then we have these two pieces of pie that act as tops and bottoms for the surface area. So let's figure out how we're going to calculate this uh, total surface area. We're going to find the total surface area first by taking the sides here, the two sides, <coughs> and those sides are going to be equal to, we have two of them, uh, they're 6 by 10. So here is a 6 length, here is a 10 length. So this particular piece encompasses the 2 by 6 by 10. Then we're going to take this red component here, and really that's just the uh, circumference multiplied by the height or at least a portion of the circumference. So we want to figure out what portion of that circumference this is. Well, uh, according to the book, it says that uh, the circumference, or this portion, is one-fourth of the total uh, area, lateral area of the entire cylinder. So we're going to take one-fourth of the circumference, or 2 pi r, times the height. And that should give us this red piece here. And then finally, we're going to add the two top and bottom pieces, this blue section here, and then the blue, there's going to be a blue section in here as well. Uh, those are going to be a fourth of the area of the circle, the top, top and bottom. And so that would be two times a fourth of pi r squared. So we figure out that one fourth, two pi, six times ten, so the radius. So we're figuring out the circumference times the height. Uh, and we're going to multiply that by 2 pi, because the circumference is 2 pi r, 2 pi radius, times the height. And we're going to take 1 fourth of that. Uh, so that gives us 1 half of 6, which is 3 pi times 10. I have 30 pi. And finally, we're going to take the calculate the area of uh, those two top and bottom pieces, the portions of the areas of the circle, the top and bottom. So it's 2 times 1 fourth pi r squared. That leaves us with 18 pi. So I've got 18 pi plus 30 pi here plus 120 pi leaves me with a total of 120 plus 48 pi units squared. In the next section, we're asked to find the volume of this frustum. And what we want to do is we want to find the total, and the frustum is the shape that's shaded in green. We want to find the uh, lateral area, the total, I'm sorry, the volume of the entire cone. And then we want to subtract this top cone here. So let's break this up into pieces. OK, so let's find the area first of the uh, larger cone. The first, in order to find the area of the larger cone, we need to find out what the altitude is. Uh, we're given in this problem that this length here is going to be equal to 6. So between 9 and 12, that length is 6. So we need to find out what this length is, and then from there find out what the altitude is. So I know that the relationship of 9 to 12, or I can say 3 to 4, is going to be the same as x to x plus 6. So this relationship here to this one here is the same as the relationship of this to the entire slant height of the cone. So I solve for x, and I get uh, 3x plus 18 is equal to 4x, or I can say x is equal to 18. So I know x is equal to 18. I'm going to replace x with 18. And now I want to find the altitude, because in figuring out the volume of a cone, I know that the volume of a cone is equal to one-third of the base area times the height. 
So we're looking, we can get the base area, we need to find the height. So let's draw our lines for altitudes or for the height. And I can see that I have 12 here for my base and then 24 really for the hypotenuse. Based on that, I know that this is a 60 degree angle. So if that's the case, this entire length here is going to be 12 root 3. That's the entire length. The same holds true for here for this uh, smaller cone. I have 9 here, 18, so I know this angle is also 60. And so I know that the top half is going to be 9 root 3. So now all we have to do is figure out the volume of the total cone. We'll call this the volume of the large cone, and subtract the volume, and we'll call this the top cone. So the volume of the larger cone, or the entire cone, is going to be one-third. The base area, which is pi r squared, or 144 pi, times 12 root 3. And then we're going to subtract one-third of 9 is the radius, so pi r squared will be 81 pi times 9 root 3. Okay, so I have 1 third 144 pi, 1 third of 144 pi times 12 root 3 minus 1 third 81 pi 9 root 3. And if I do the calculations, I uh, will come up with 576 pi root 3 for the larger cone, and then I'm going to subtract 243 pi root 3 for the uh, top cone. And I end up with 333 pi root 3 as my answer for the volume of the frustum.